Hi guys, welcome to the 8-Bit Goan. My name is Saish Kavas and in today's video we're going to see how we can switch on our laptop or our PC using our cell phone just like this. So before we go ahead, I just wanted to explain how the whole thing is set up and basically how it works. So I have my PC and the laptop connected to the router via a LAN cable. I also have my cell phone on the same network connected via Wi-Fi. And this will also work if the laptop lid is closed. So the important part here is that all devices are on the same network. And now when I go ahead and press the button on my cell phone, it will send a magic packet to the laptop and the PC and they would come on. And the reason it works is because of the wake on LAN feature, which needs to be enabled on devices you want to wake up remotely. So to get this up and running, there are a few settings you need to enable under three areas. One under BIOS, two in your Windows and three on your cell phone. The first one is the most crucial one. So let's start with that. And this setting can be a little tricky because each BIOS setting is going to be different for everyone. But I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Look for something uh, under power management which says wake on LAN or wake feature. And if it says something like S5 state, wake from S5 state or something like that, that would definitely help. So my laptop, it was relatively easy to find because it just said S5 wake support and I enabled it directly, it started working. But on my PC, I had to enable two settings. One is wake on support on PCI and second was um, something I can't remember exactly, but it was to do with the S5 wake support. So make sure that you enable that. So like I said, this step can be a little tricky because BIOS is not standardized across the board. But if you search on the internet regarding your motherboard model or your BIOS version and find out more about it, uh, you will actually get the setting. Let's go with the Windows setting now. So the Windows settings are pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll hit uh, Windows R to open the run command and I'll type in uh, ncpa.cpl to go into my network configuration settings. Here I'll click on Ethernet, I'll right click on Ethernet and go to properties and I'll hit configure. Now under power management, all three options should be checked. Uh, this is regarding the magic packet and waking up the device uh, through the Ethernet controller. Next, I'll go to advanced and disable energy efficient Ethernet or you might have green Ethernet, disable that. Shutdown and wake up should be enabled. And the last two would be wake up on magic packet and wake up on a pattern match. Both should be enabled. Again, I'll right click on Ethernet and go to properties and go to the fourth option here, which is Ethernet protocol uh, version four and go to properties, advanced, WINS and disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. And I'm good with the network settings. Next, I'll go to the power management. So again, I'll hit um, Windows R and go to powerconfig.cpl, that is powercfg.cpl and hit OK. Click on choose what the power buttons do. And here, uh, I need to disable the turn on fast startup and sleep. So it's already disabled. And in case you want to disable it, you need to click on settings that are currently unavailable and make sure this is unchecked. And hit save changes and we are good. So these are the window settings which worked for me on about three to four systems. And I hope it works for you as well. So now we are done with our bio setting and we are done with our window setting. Let's go ahead with the phone setting. Make sure your laptop or your system is on. Don't switch it off. Go ahead and download this app called Wake on LAN. All right, so I'm in the Play Store and as you can see, the app is Wake on LAN. It's by Mike Webb. So uh, I'll go ahead and open it uh, because I've already installed it. Now you can see that it doesn't say um, anything here. It says there's nothing to see here. Uh, use the plus button to add the devices. So I need to click on this plus button here and it will start populating the devices which are connected to my network. If you don't see this, then you can just pull down and it will automatically show you the devices. So for demonstration, I'll go ahead and add my laptop here. So the nickname, I'll change it to laptop and also my PC.
All right. So I've added my laptop and my PC here, and you can see there's a green bubble next to it, which signifies that the systems are on. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll switch off the system and then go ahead and show you how to switch on the systems using this application. All right, so the Wake Online application has been configured. And as you can see, we have laptop and PC, uh, both are showing in red because it's uh, switched off. As you can see behind, they are not uh, on. Now, if I click on the Wake button, it should go ahead and start. And as you can see, the PC has started and also the laptop has booted up. So that's it for today's video. I really hope this video helped you out and you were able to start your system via your phone. Um, point to be noted that I could not start my Dell laptop from uh, through this method from uh, shutdown state. I could wake it up from sleep state. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but I read online that the newer versions of Dell do not support the S5 uh, wake support. But I was surprised to know that when I went in the registry, I was able to find the uh, S5 wake support enabled. So maybe there is some setting which I could not figure out. I will try to research a little bit more. And uh, if you have a Dell system and you're facing this trouble, you can let me know if you were able to get this working. And that way we can help each other out. Um, so with that, we've come to the end of this video. Uh, uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.